This could be pretty scary or pretty cute, depending on your opinions of the animals gathered here. <laughs> well, we like them. So we are talking about an awareness event this weekend. John Moyles is here from the Green Bay Aquarium Society. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Okay, so there is a there's an exotic pet surrender mm. event going on. Yeah. Why is that needed, John? Well, um, a few years ago, I had this idea that if you are moving or something and you have fish that you need to get rid of, you really can't just bring them to the pound. There's no pound right. for fish. And so we put them down the toilet. Yeah, for sure. So we started at the Green Bay Aquarium Society a, uh, a surrender network. Mm -hmm. So you'd have a place to turn to other than releasing them into the wild. And that kind of grew and morphed into this. Um, Can this guy come out? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's take he's, him out. Yeah, he's, he's getting really kind of antsy. Um, just let me out. So it kind of grew into this uh, partnership with all sorts of different area rescues where we'll take uh, birds and reptiles, small mammals, basically anything that you have and you can't care for, you could bring to these events and we'll take it. We'll for free? For, for absolutely okay. free, yeah. Okay. You're more than welcome to uh, to donate, but uh, but sure. yeah, um, there's no questions asked. Can we hold this? Guy? Yeah, sure. Is this not a snapping turtle? No, nope, this is a red-eared sli red eared slider. Oh, oh. oh he's, got, <laughs> he's got fingernails. Yep, he does have nails. Um, so a lot of people will get these when they're uh, when they're small. Freak me out. Um, you know, like when they're uh, when they're about uh, half dollar size, and uh, and they're cute, but they live forever. So you really have to um, do your homework and, and prepare yourself. For an animal sure. that eventually gets this big. Mm -hmm. And um, so uh, my friend Travis um, th um, is his owner, and he lives in a huge pond in his basement. Oh, wow. So, so yeah, so he wound up going to a really, really great home. And uh, if you have one, there are several uh, resources out there if you need to, to rehome it. Um, one of them is, uh, like, Petco has a uh, relinquishment program okay. where you can bring it to, like, any Petco with okay. just a little bit of notice and then just they'll take it. don't set them loose. Yeah. Yes, do not set them loose. These guys probably would not survive mm -hmm. um, a, uh, a Wisconsin winter for sure. Um, another well, one wait, that I'll I have... let you hold the next one. I was just going to say, yeah. I'll hold it. And then, <laughs> I, and then I have Bruce. This is Bruce, my goldfish. Um, he's about a year old. This is the kind of goldfish that you'll get at the, uh, at the fair. And it gets that big. Oh, he's going to get, he's only a year old. He's going to get about four oh, wow. times that size. Yeah. And a lot of people probably don't realize and that. And a lot of people don't realize that. They stick him in a bowl. This is just his travel bowl. Sure. He lives in a huge aquarium at home. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, so it's another one where you have to really think and prepare yourself okay. before you get the pet. Uh, there's no such thing as bad pets, only unprepared pet owners. All right. Um, well, I don't then, know if I'm prepared for your final guest. Finally, <laughs> this is Annabelle. Annabelle was Aww. found abandoned at a, at a, at a, at a, uh, a vet clinic Hi. in Appleton. Can we pet her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Is there a certain spot to pet back um, here? Anywhere you want. Yeah, yeah. Um, and oh, she's wow. an American alligator. Okay. Um, my friend uh, Bill took her in, and she's an, uh, an ambassador now. Um, she goes to a lot of shows. Those webbed feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. So again, people will buy these um, when they're small. You can get them, uh, you know, at some pet stores or on the internet, and they're relatively inexpensive. And they're really cute when they're small, but when they get to be about this size, they can be a little dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, they get about ten feet long. Oh gosh. Mm. Um, so maybe if you have like a, a house with a pool in the basement. Um, and some ultraviolet lighting, this might be the, the right pet for you. But for most people, sure. this <laughs> that's is not, case, yeah, that, right. that's, yeah, that's not such a, such a good, okay. good thing. And uh, cool. this guy for sure would not survive a, a, Wisconsin, coming, uh, a Wisconsin winter. Um, so if you have a pet that you, that you don't know what to do with, you always reach out to the Green Bay Aquarium mm -hmm. Society. You can find a, a resource on our website um, under pet rehoming. Uh, we will help you find something uh, to do with it. Well, we have two events to tell you about. We didn't even get to the one on Sunday, but yeah. that's related to the one on Saturday. So let's start with that. The Exotic Pet Surrender event, Saturday, October 26th from 11 to 3. It's at Thousand Islands Environmental Center in Kakana. But then if you are looking to have a new member of your family, the Green Bay Aquarium Society is having an auction the next day, Sunday, October 27th. This is 9 to 7 at the Starlight Club in Kakana. Thank you, John. Thank you.